friends, Knife Detector here, and guess what? I have another Stockman video for you because you know I've been doing a series on Stockman knives. This is an equal end Stockman knife, another equal end Stockman knife. I don't know the age of this knife. My closest guess would be maybe 60s for this knife. Uh, possibly 50s, late 50s, 60s. I could be totally off. If any of you guys know better, please correct me. Uh, the reason I'm stumped on this knife is because it doesn't have a maker's mark. Now, when I purchased this on eBay, I, I got a really good deal on it. And, and I saw that I really wanted one of these equal end stockmen, something that'll just drop in your pocket like a little torpedo and uh, very, very uh, low profile and something that could get a good edge on it, and this is carbon steel right here. Um, I thought, yes, I, I really want something like this, and I love the color orange, red orange on this, right? But it said it was a hammer. When I bought it on eBay, uh, the seller had it listed as a hammer brand knife. And I tend to agree with him because it does have some of those features, but I've never been able to find another hammer brand knife that looks like this in this configuration with this type of handle, with these type of covers. See, it's got this, this uh, plastic uh, type of uh, covers here. Now look at all these marks. Now those are the marks that come from a person carrying this in their pocket and then they sit on a chair and then the knife hits up against the armrest of the chair those are the kind of marks where uh somebody sits on a chair and um and they have like change in their pocket and you see all these little half moon lines all these little ridges when they sit on the chair and they have this firmly pressed against the chair from maybe sitting in an office chair for a very long time day in and day out these little tiny marks will form on the edge of this plastic uh, slash rubber handle right here. And they'll be permanent. They'll stay there uh, forever. Uh, the only way to get them off really is to sand them or to fill them in with something. But that just adds to the character of the knife. Uh, what I feel is that the person that used to carry this knife really pocketed, carried this knife a lot, you know. And I'm gonna continue to do the same and I'll probably add some of my own marks here. You see this one doesn't have as many, but you see some of them are like these little half moon marks, kind of like a coin. So they would carry coins in their pocket and then uh, they'd sit down and then they would press up against this, right? Up against the handle, so from the armrest of the chair. You know, or they would bump into things during the course of uh, the day. Dare I say the person that owned this knife might have been about my size, <laughs> maybe a little bit on the hefty side? I think maybe so. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, am I overreading a lot into this? I might possibly be able to, but uh, overread into this. But I, that's kind of like the impression I get just from holding on to it. So I couldn't see a maker's mark on this. And I tried with a magnifying glass. At one point, I thought I saw where it said hammer. Um, or it had the traditional hammer em emblem, you know, like the arm up holding, making a muscle, but no, I, I couldn't make it out. I couldn't see it. So, uh, but let's check it out. This has three blades like Stockman's do. It has your regular, uh, main blade right here. It's got a lot of use on it, but it's very sharp. So I'm going to be careful. No snap on that. It's got the spay blade, which has also had a lot of use, little bit of snap. And then instead of a sheep's foot, uh, or in all, it has this uh, pin blade right here, which is another configuration that some of these Stockman knives have. Uh, it's a very good looking knife. I do like it very much. You can tell somebody gave it a few taps to try and tighten that joint a bit. Um, it's got brass liners. Um, let me see if I can uh, give you a length on this. I didn't really get my stuff out for this, but yeah, let's see. This is about three and one two three four about three and five eighths inches in the closed position so and the weight is not substantial on this guy at all the weight on this guy probably is something i'm guessing between four and five ounces let's see how close we can get and oh way off 3.1 ounces so it's pretty light guys pretty light yeah so this is a real beauty i wanted to show you this this is another uh internet uh find that i have um there are so many you know internet finds out there waiting for you guys the thing is that with the inception of the internet now we have access to things from all over the world treasures that people are willing to let go 
or that maybe need a new home after spending so much time with their previous owners, you know. And they're all out there for the finding. And there's so many ways to find these treasures, right? You can find them online or like one of my one of my awesome viewers uh, said, you can do like I do, right? And use actual shoe leather <laughs> to try and find your treasures. You know, like I like to go out there and look in yard sales, flea markets. You've been seeing a lot of my videos from this summer that I've been posting in regards to places where I go look for some of these knives, right? And you find them because, you know, chance favors a prepared mind to quote one of my favorite movies, right? And also, you know, uh, it's the law of attraction, you know, if you expect to find them and you want to find them Then they'll find their way into your hands somehow. Okay um, In my channel, you know that I've found knives. I have found great deals on knives I've gotten crazy lucky on some knife deals. I mean they just find their way into your hands if that is what you want Okay, guys, so this has been another episode of the knife detector on the title of this, this video I'm gonna put a hammer with a question mark because I'm not sure if it is a hammer knife uh stockman but correct me if i'm wrong I, I, at first i was thinking maybe it might be camillus uh but uh, uh the person i bought it from on ebay said hammer so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna still say that it probably is a hammer um it could might also be imperial i'm not 100 percent sure uh but it's a good looking knife and i intend to carry it very very soon as in in the next five minutes <laughs> all right my friends thank you god bless you have a wonderful day